Jane Cookwright, born on 20th November 1919 in New York, was best known for her services in the field of medicine, to be specific in chemotherapy. She belonged to an African-American family. She graduated with honors from the New York Medical College in 1945. She was the daughter of one of the biggest African-American physicians present in New York at that time. She died on 19th February 2013, aged 93, serving the American community in such a way that they remember till day. Inspired by her father, Dr. Lewis Wright, after graduation in 1945, Jane began to analyze a wide range of anti-cancer agents explored the relationship between patient and tissue culture response and started working on new techniques to administrator cancer chemotherapy. Following her father's death in 1952, at the age of 33, she was appointed as the head of the Cancer Research Foundation. In 1964, Jane became the only woman amongst the seven physicians who helped to find the American Society of Clinical Oncology. In 1967, she was named the Professor of Surgery and was appointed as the Head of Cancer Chemotherapy Department, as well as the Associate Dean of the New York Medical College. At this time, Dr. Jane became the highest ranked African American woman to be recognized at the governmental level. In, 19, she was, in 1971, she was elected as the first woman president of the New York Cancer Society. Dr. Jane Cookwright retired in 1987, ending her 40 years long career. A truly inspiring figure, Dr. Jane Cookwright achieved great milestones, especially in developing and researching chemotherapy. It was great how she carried out great discoveries and published many essays and research papers, which led to further delegation of chemotherapy in Africa, Europe, China, the Soviet Union, and many more. Inspiring for many, the role of Jane highlights that one's race gender or caste does not limit him or her to move forward in life and achieve big milestones. <laughs>